you can see, we're getting there. We got some uh, work done out there. I'll show you that in a minute. Um, I use all power tools when I can, but nothing stops me from using a saw. I got several hand saws. Um, some really old ones. And some very new ones. And then of course I have my Japanese draw saw, which actually is really accurate and I like it. Um, but yeah, sometimes you gotta use elbow grease to cut, especially when you're doing specialty cuts. Yeah, I could use a, I could have used a band saw or something like that, but it took me forever to set up. So this is old school, but it works. Sometimes you just gotta do that. Okay, so we got that cut. Now we're back out here. Uh, this is uh, the roofing on the west side, the one I'm working on now. This will be the roofing. Uh, this comes out of one of my junk piles. Uh, it's got a few holes here and there. And I'll have to stitch a couple of pieces together. But, uh, hey, it's stuff that we wouldn't otherwise use. And there's my guard cat, Fluffy. Always following me around. Uh, okay, so as you can see, I got all of the uh, west side rafters up. Joyce, whatever you want to call them. Made a small error on the cut that I made. I didn't realize the piece was cut too short to begin with. So it didn't measure out right. Anyway, it'll work. This is a wood shack, not the Taj Mahal. I'll show you a little thing. I do all my work by myself. So how do I put these up? Easy. I put this cleat up there uh, for these joists. And as you can see, I'm taking it down now. But that's how I am able to do this by myself. You gotta rig things up to work. Now I'm gonna move, there's a piece over there. I'll go ahead and put that piece up there when I do the east side, which I'm gonna start on right now. I have to go to the feed store, get a load of feed, but I'll get as much done here as I can before I leave. Okay, rafters are all in. This is uh, the best I can do, given what I'm building on top of. Believe it or not, the actual worst wall is the little one. There's, the wall is out, and I can't get it back in. So I had to adjust my rafters. I mean, it looks okay. So now we're moving on to the steel part. Uh, we're gonna do the big section first. What we got going here is filthy, nasty, dirty. We're gonna wash them up first, then we gotta cut them down, and then we gotta throw them up. Afternoon. Uh, we did uh, the rafters this morning, and now we got this, uh, some roofing on. We had to stitch a little together. And as I was afraid, it wasn't quite square. It's off a little bit. But you know, it's a woodshed, not the Taj Mahal. I think I mentioned that. It's not too bad. You can see it a little bit here on the edge as it goes down and increases. There was nothing I could do. I lined them up nice and clean with the two by four rafters. So, all we gotta do now is we've got some holes, old holes that we gotta patch. We'll just use some tar. And then uh, we have the backside to do, which is tough because way over there, you'll see that brown rolled up thing. That's the roof for this side. Oh Lord, that's gonna be a pain. Fluffy the cat. Moving the roof section, this old derelict sheet door. We've got it rigged up. And this is what I used to use to bring logs out of the back of my property where I used to live. 
a little trail thing here. So figured it'd work for this. So now we just gotta transport it up there. As you can see, my fancy rigging. My junk pile back here, lots of fence, pallets, steel, drums. This is where I put all my good stuff. My neighbor does the same thing. We hide stuff in the back. All right, let me move this thing. Oh boy. Okay, and we're moving along. We've got, uh, we've cut the, the door all to the pieces we needed. We put it up. We've got a wind blowing. I'm sorry. But, uh, yeah, that made uh, putting the roof up even harder. One big giant piece. Now I'm making a little piece. And, uh, yeah, there's the little piece right there. Had to modify the backing a bit. We're getting along. We're getting along. Okay. Well, here we are. It's morning. Um, I'm remaking this video because yesterday uh, it was howling. And uh, half of my conversation was, well, non-existent. So here we go again. We got everything done. We got the roof cap up. We had some problems. Um, basically, me and old man walking around on that roof up there was kind of nerve-wracking. And unfortunately, it didn't come out as straight as I like. But, you know, it'll work. It'll work. We did... Uh, we've got everything in here done. Um... Got a lot of little holes in the roof here. I think I gooed them all, but who knows? You can see here, this is where I stitched it together. And unfortunately, the, the grooves didn't perfectly line up. So that was a real problem. But I made it. I wasn't gonna cut the whole sheet that I have left over there for that. That's what I have left. I'm going to use part of that for an end wall, I think, because yesterday's windstorm tells me that there's no way that stuff's going to stay. Now you can see we got a little droopy, a little edging. It's not perfect, but it is a woodshed, so I think it's above and beyond for a woodshed, don't you? And we still have plenty of poles over there. Yes, Dad, there's still lots of poles. You can count them if you want. The ones over here are now up and being used. I still gotta do trim work. I gotta fill these end caps. And that's what I'm talking about using that sheet door for, is right there, is taking that, and maybe framing it up a little bit, a few two by fours, and then be able to attach that sheet to it will stop that wind from howling in. And then, you know, the minute I get it done, the uh, wind will come from the north instead. <laughs> Most of the time it comes out of the south. The other big job I've got is to dig up all this rock. They started the other day. It's a lot of work. It's kind of gotten, I mean, this used to be a huge pile and over the years I've used it all, but there's still quite a bit down there. Still quite a bit down there. We need to get that rock in. We're gonna put a wood panel on this back, a wood panel on that back this morning. That's our job today. And then frame that back wall up so we can shut down this wind and also got to go to the shop today to deliver a few things. So yeah, it's looking all right, it's looking all right. There you go, ooh, snotty. <laughs> Whatever, whatever. We got to get our wood pile going. We got to go pick up some wood, so. Got a lot to do, got to get going. All right, so we've got the uh, ends blocked off now. Not as pretty as I'd like, but hey, it still works. 
didn't cost me anything, so I'm in good shape. We got the uh, rails in, so basically what I should be able to get in here, based on local measurements, would be uh, four ricks. Um, this is 16 feet long. There's two rows, so you, you can do the math. But that's a lot of wood. I'm gonna move this wood over into it because the every year this stuff gets blown over. And I'm tired of it getting blown over. That stuff over here I'm gonna leave. I built that specifically for that wood. So we're okay there. But over here, we've got this wood that's uh, on the back. And we've got that pile of wood over there. And then uh, I need to go out and get some good oak. It never ends. Uh, as far as the ends are concerned, as you can see, I started to work on it. Uh, my main concern is getting this stuff in and getting that wood moved and getting new wood in. Not the aesthetics or any of that stuff. So trim work will have to wait. Um, the end caps will have to wait. Uh, we will get to it. But for now, the original plan was just for this back section, stopping up there. I added this piece here. So in all, the original plan is done, uh, short of trim work. Trim work is, well, that's just for prettiness. <laughs> uh, functionality, she's ready to go. So. Here we go. Let's load some wood. We'll see you later. It's been a laugh.